Gamer with Kev, what is up my family? We are back and we are on a game called Suffer the Night where I play as a painter for horror novels who's woken up out of nowhere from the Hello. thunder outside and out of nowhere I get a note at the front of my door and we're gonna hop into it. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more gameplays just like this. Yo! Okay, so I just woke up out of nowhere. Oh, I must have dozed off. With some dusty boots on. The storm is really picking up. I must have dozed off. The storm is really picking up. Yeah, it is. It is super stormy out there. Jeez, but there's something beautiful about about a storm, you know? Like, look out there. That's beautiful. Look at my room! Hey, bro, keep it real! Is your boy's room a vibe or not? I got some of my favorite artists up here. Wait, let me show you. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Bam, Cindy Lauren! Y'all know who Cindy Lauren is? Me either. <laughs> Look, he has hit the clown on. Yo, but I think the uh I think my favorite thing about this room is this pink flamingo neon light. That is fire. Oh, I didn't see Big Bear right here. This might be my favorite thing about the room. Yo! Teddy! Wow. I should check the radio for an update on the storm. I should check the radio for an update on the storm. Okay. This is the radio over here? No, that's not the radio. There's the telephone. Where's the radio? Maybe it's right here. What's going on with my radio? This is one of those radios you gotta tap a little bit. You know, it's old school. This is not a test. The county of Sleepy Woods Mountains has issued a severe lightning storm warning and is suggesting residents get Severe inside. lightning storm. The National Weather Institute is saying this is a Category 2 storm with sustained winds ranging from... Bro, I can't even hear what you're saying. ...and should last all through the evening into tomorrow night. Lightning has struck multiple transformers, causing power outages and some... Can y'all hear what he... It's an old radio. radio. We'll just... We'll just read it. <laughs> it's old... We'll, we'll just read it. So he's pretty much just saying there's a severe lightning storm warning. Bro, I was reading that. Lightning storm warning. Okay. Next objective, head downstairs. Man. I'm just like checking out the room here. Midnight Riders. And look at my old school computer. Bruh, not the old, the pencil. I grew up on these pencil sharpeners. I got the what the old school pencil sharpener you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that on okay let's head downstairs uh there we go I'm really hungry some eggs and toast sound good and some coffee to wake me up okay so Make some fried eggs and toast. Make some coffee. Got it. That's my favorite anyway. I love eggs. That was actually like one of my nicknames growing up was eggs. So people would see me and say, what up, eggs? I know. <laughs> I know. Man, it is really dark in here. Can your boy like turn on some lights or something? There we go. That's a little more like it. Okay, so eggs. Um, I have to actually open the fridge. All right, there we go. Okay, picked up egg carton. And we got some butter here. I need a plate for the eggs and toast. Okay, we gotta get a plate. Ugh. There we go. Put the plate right there. Plate was used. 
Okay. I need to make some toast. Ah, there we go. Picked up bread. Bread was used. I don't usually cook for myself, y'all. I'm kind of, you know, new to the whole cooking thing. So just, just bear with me as I try to get my items together. You know what I'm saying? All right, picked up toast. Let's go ahead and close that. Okay, there we go. Toast was used. All right, what else do we need? Make some coffee. I need the coffee pot first. Where's the where's the coffee pot? There we go. Picked up coffee pot. Now I need some brown coffee beans. This is like a cooking tutorial. Baked beans. Okay. Uh, uh, bro, where's the ground coffee beans? Oh, right here. Okay, ground coffee beans. The coffee should be ready soon. Okay. Just a nice, normal thunder night, and I'm home alone. Nothing out of the ordinary. This coffee is taking forever. The coffee's not ready yet. Oh, there it is. I need a coffee mug. Oh my gosh. I need everything. Okay, coffee mug. There we go. Give me some of that fresh coffee, baby. Okay. Now I have to make some eggs. Eggs. Bro, where's my skillet at? There we go. Picked up a frying pan. I need some butter for the pan. Now for the eggs. Hey, I'm doing pretty good here. Woo. Woo, that smell good. It's about to be fire. Y'all see I got the boom tarts right there. I got the crispy breakfast. Uh, Corn flakes. I need a spatula. Okay, spatula, spatula should be in this drawer, right? No. Spatula! 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 Oh, it was right in front of me. <laughs> uh, rookie cooker. Okay, spatula was used. There we go. We're getting down on it. We're getting down on it. Okay, so now we have to head to the basement and put some clothes in the washing machine don't know why my why my laundry room would be in the basement but hey that's just how it is let's turn this light on um let's open this okay lights are on hey we got a game room popping Yo, this is fire. Oh, I would really live here. This is dope. Okay, I don't want to get off track. Let's, let's do our laundry. Bro, where's my washing machine? Oh, it's right here. Um, This switch is a circuit breaker, which can reset or cut the power if there is an overload or fault condition. Okay, gotcha. I just, like, for some reason, I don't want to be in the dark. I, I have to have, like, a light on or something. That's just, that's just how I am. Okay, I need the basket of dirty laundry first. Okay, pick that up. All right, laundry was used. Head back upstairs. Gotcha. Oh, what the hell? That was the front door bell. That was the Ooh, front door bell. Who would? And in the storm. Oh, now I can sprint. Now you want to sprint. First I was walking all slow. Now she want to be able to sprint. Okay, let's go to the 
Let's go to the front door. Hello? It's absolutely pouring. I shouldn't go outside unless I need to go. But somebody run the run the doorbell. I can't really see out there because of the storm. Is that okay, so that's not the front door. That's like the that's like the side door. This is the front door. Once again, hello? Hello? How did this envelope get here? Oh, there's the envelope. But there's nobody out there. And that's my Jeep right there. Okay. Um, break seal. Surprise. A floppy disk? Where did this come from? There's no one at the door. Did y'all see that smile on it? It says surprise. Use floppy disk at computer upstairs. Okay. Let's go back up here. Bro, I gotta get some, some light on. Around here. Light switches. Okay, there's one there. Right, whose room is this? I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Okay, that's the bathroom. Okay, light switch. Light switch. All right, I'm just going back in here. Let's go ahead and close this. <laughs> how, how about that? Let, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and close this. There we go. Okay, so our objective is to use the floppy disk. Floppy disk was used. Let's see what's on this. Like, why would somebody drop this off at our house? Okay, zoom in. Press enter to continue. Okay, enter to log in. Password incorrect. My favorite author. Um, I don't know. Do I have to, I have to look around and see who, who my favorite Arthur is? Uh, okay, let's turn some lights on. My favorite author. All right, let's look out here. Jason Goodison. So I just came right outside the room. Cover art I painted for the book Tornado of Souls, written by J.L. Stein. Is it J.L. Stein? J. All right, it's not J.L. Stein. Jason Goodison. Oh my gosh, bro, who is your favorite author? Okay, cover art I painted for the book, The Deadlights, written by Richard Bachman. Okay, oh, my favorite Arthur. So this is who it is, What Lies Below, written by ECH, P.I. Wait, wait, I gotta get that right. Each, P.L, E-C-H-P-I-E-L, E-C-H-P-I-E-L. E C H P I E L. Got it. Yes. Welcome back, Stacy. Please type one of the following commands run drive A, run drive B, shut down. We are in drive A, I believe. Run drive A. Okay. Suffer the night. So this is what the mysterious person dropped off at the front of my door. Enter to start. Your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of fate now swings. You awaken on a cold, wet stone. The air is moist. A strictly sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. You can barely make out your surroundings. List of commands. Get up. Oh, I have to type it out. You slowly rise to your feet. As you do, a sharp sting is felt throughout your skull and your vision blurs, then refocuses. 
You are in a cave or cavern of some kind. A bright light in the distance grabs your attention. List of commands. Go forward. Search. Use items. Go forward. Okay. Search. Nothing was found. Climb up. You reach the top. An old metal torch hangs from the wall. Its flame flickers and sways as the breeze blows from down the path. The undeniable smell of rock grows stronger. Okay, so remember, we're playing a game right now. It's old school. This is an old school game. So we have to type the commands in. Uh, should we continue to go forward on the game? You enter a large open mausoleum. Its chambers empty, except surrounded by fresh wax candles. A single dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room. The pungent odor seems to be at its strongest here. To your right, there is a large wooden double door. Uh, let's search. You open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea from the grotesque stench. Inside is the corpse of a man. So I'm playing an old computer game right now. I just walked up to the coffin and there's and there's a corpse of a man in the coffin. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots while searching the coffin and body. You notice an old key in one of his hands, disgustingly peeling back each finger from his rigor mortis induced hand. You take the key. A key was added to your inventory. Okay. Let's go right. Two torches light the large wooden door that blocks your way. You try to open it, but it is locked. A key is required. Use item, let's use the key. You use the key to open the door. The path leads to the right. Okay, go right. Oh! You turn the corner into another long hallway. What's going on? So I can look over my shoulder. I don't see anything though. I don't I don't think. I hope. Okay. You turn the corner into another long hallway. Torches light the way along the narrow path. Just as you investigate the surroundings, a gut-wrenching scream echoes off the walls towards you. Go forward. Continuing down the path, you come across a small sepulcher housed inside two small coffins. They have been nailed and fastened shut. Cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. A small clay horn sits in the corner next to one of the coffins. All right, let's, let's, let's go right. You attempted to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness. Okay, so we can't see. So let's, can we search? Nothing was found. Okay, go back. Oh! You check inside the urn expecting to find ash, but inside the light catches a glimmer of something shiny reflecting back. Yo. You reach in and find an antique lighter. A small encryption has been scratched off, perhaps a family heirloom. You apply pressure to the spark wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the old wick. Surprisingly, it still works. So we found an antique lighter. Lighter was added to your inventory. Okay, go right. Okay, it's dark. Our path is dark, as you guys can see. So we're gonna use our lighter. Using the lighter, a large... Oh! What the hell was that? It sounds like an explosion. All the power... Oh, the power just went out. So the power on my computer just, just went out, as well as around the whole house. Investigate where the sound came from. Bruh, that old game was weird. It looks like the transformer blew. Oh. Lightning must have struck it. We need okay. to turn on the backup generator in the basement and reset the fuse box. Of course, we're going back to the basement. Backup generator.
Uh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's just go to the basement. Turn it back on. Okay, backup generator. It was this way, right? There we go. I need to turn on the backup generator to restore power. Yes, yes, this is the... Oh, here it is. Damn, I forgot to refuel the generator the last time I cleaned it. There's some fuel out back at the boathouse. I have to go... I should grab a flashlight in the garage before heading outside. I have to go to the boathouse just to get... Grab a flashlight from the garage. Oh, gosh. Okay. I think I left the key to the garage in the bathroom the last time I took a shower. Okay, key to the garage is in the bathroom. Uh, wait, wait, that was the bathroom that was... Okay, that's the garage. That's the garage. Okay, bathroom. Bathroom is right here. Okay. Garage key, garage key, garage key. Oh. Oh. I know y'all saw that in the bathtub. Oh, the fuse is blown. Be. That light bulb is toast. Okay, there's the key. Right, I picked up garage key. Let's go grab the flashlight from the garage. I shouldn't have put that floppy disk in. I shouldn't have put the game in. It was such a weird game. I've never played a game like that before. Okay, there it is. Garage key was used. Right, flashlight. Flashlight. There we go. I should head to the boathouse out back. There should be some fuel I can use for generator. Okay, there. we gotta go to the boathouse in the back. Get some fuel. Should I go out the front door? Okay. Ugh. There it is. So that's what blew out right there. The freaking transformer. I gotta go to the boathouse in the back. Okay, we're good. It's just a little storm. And somebody trying to play games with us. All good. Okay, we're here. All right, where are we getting? Okay, fuel. There's a fuel down here that looks like fuel. There it is. All right. We need to refill it. We got to go inside the boathouse. Okay, where's the fuel pump? Now I can refuel the backup generator. I should head back to the basement. Okay, let's head back to the basement. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I thought I saw something. Back to the basement we go. Get this power cut back on. Okay. I just left the front door open, bro. I don't even care. Let's just get this power back on. Okay, there we go. Reset the circuit breaker, and that should be some the power. Reset the circuit breaker. There we go. The power should be working now. I should head upstairs and call in the busted transformer. Okay, is power good? Can we turn the lights back on? The power is limited. I shouldn't turn on lights unless I need to. <laughs> of course! I shouldn't turn on lights unless I need to. Right. Okay. Whew, that almost scared me. 
Bruh, freaking ow. Alright, let's go ahead and close this. There we go. Perfect. Use phone upstairs to call in the busted transformer. What? There's no signal. There's no signal. The line's dead. Did the storm knock out the phone lines as well? <sighs> um. The doorbell again? What the hell is going on here? Is someone playing a trick on me? That was definitely the doorbell again. Hello? I'm like one of those people that say hello before I even get to the door. Oh my gosh. Bruh, who? He has his head down. I don't want to go, y'all. I don't. Do I have to, bruh? Do I? Okay. I mean, it's a little rude to have the light on him, huh? Should I open the door? I shouldn't open the door for strangers. Let's open it. I'm not going out there with that creep outside. Okay, so what do I do? Use the spyglass on the front door to see who is there. Hello? Who's there? Hey, how you doing? My mask. Hello, young lady. My vehicle broke down on the road a ways back. May I perhaps come inside to use your phone? He said that his vehicle broke down on the road and he wants to use my phone. I'm cool, bruh. What are you doing all the way out here? Are you the one who put the floppy disk through my mail slot? Yeah, what's up with that? That was a stupid game. I didn't even know how to play it. The graphics was all messed up and everything. Floppy disk? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You didn't answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? Well, you see, I have family up north. It seems yours is the only house I could find off the road. Oh, so I'm... Okay. <laughs> so, I, so I got the only house you can find. I got all kind of neighbors around, but you want to go to the house where a the, where the girl is home alone and... You want to play that game? That, that's what you want to do. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone lines seem to be down in my area because of the storm. Yeah, you got to go somewhere else, bruh. The phone lines is down. Oh, really? The phone lines are dead, you say? Well, perhaps I can come in to dry off and get out of this storm. He trying extra hard to come in here. He said come in and dry off. Say, man, I got a neighbor a little bit up the road. Just go over there. They real friendly. They'll let you come dry off. I'm not in the business of letting strangers into my home. I'm cool. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. So we just told him he can't come in. Very well, Stacy. I'll find my own way in. He said he'll find his way in? And he walks up. How does he know my name? He said, very well, Stacy. I'll find my, my way in. Uh. Um. Okay. I need to make sure everything is locked around here. That's what I need to do. Okay. That's good. Power is still limited. Can I grab a knife or something? See, that's like... Oh, my gosh. I was about to say that's what happens in horror movies. They don't grab... Like, you got to grab something. I was about to grab a knife, but as soon as I... I was about to grab it... Look, bruh, staring at me from a distance. Bruh, quit looking through my window. Go over there with my neighbors. Please. Maybe I should have let him in the dry. And I can't see him well. 
with my flashlight on. Oh, I can. I can. Oh, I can. Oh! He's... What the hell is going on? How did, he... did that creep know my name? Did he just go like... He waved at me? Answer the phone. The phone was just not working, right? Where, where, where the, where the phone, I'm, okay, I'm trying to figure out where the phone is. Bro, is it, is it the phone upstairs? Gosh, that sound is so annoying. I think it's the phone upstairs. I'm coming. Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. For real. Hello, Stacy. I'm sick. Fuck. Why are you doing this? Yes. Why are you doing this? I want you to finish my game, Stacy. I'll make you a deal. If you finish, if you finish the game. I might just leave you alone. I don't know how to play your freaking stupid game. I'm like a Roblox trying to be a horror gamer on the side. Bro, I don't. I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. Yes! I'm warning you, leave me alone. Tell him! I, I have a gun. I got a gun, I got that heat! I got that heat, quit playing with me, help me! Quit playing with me! I know you're lying, Stacy. Now finish the game, or I'll come in there and skin you alive. You gonna skin me alive? You ain't touching this beautiful face. He said he gonna skin me alive. I hung up. Continue playing the game on the computer. Chapter complete, game saved. Wait, what? Okay, we gotta go back into this stupid game. Using the lighter, a large stairway is illuminated in front of you. You try to make out what's at the top, but it's too dark. Okay, go forward. Using the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is dim, but you can make it out that the path continues to the right. Look over shoulder. I don't know why this option is available. I feel like he gonna be behind me or something. Let's try to finish his stupid game so he can leave us alone. Go right. You enter a spacious room with a large round wooden table at its center. On the table sits a small lockbox. Chains surround the box and feed into a skull. Ah, so this is a lockbox right here. It has a skull. We have to try to open it, it seems. Its locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The room splits into two paths one blocked by a large iron cage the other one open okay let's can we search nothing was found i don't think i have items but use item okay no items were useful go right you approach the path on the right in front of you is another set of double doors this one suspiciously has one door half open the room ahead is hidden from your sight i think we got to go in the room y'all go forward you attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness. Use item. Okay, using the lighter, you illuminate the hallway. What was that? What was that? I heard that. I heard something. Okay, let's let's just finish. Let's just finish the game. Okay, so we illuminated the hallway on this game. It stretches into darkness. The air is stale. Clay orange are scattered all around the floor. You knock one over as you walk, and ash is kicked up into the air. Your nostrils and mouth are filled as you breathe it in, causing you to cough. 
<coughs> so we knocked over clay or clay orns are scattered all over the floor. So clay orns are like this with ashes in them and they're scattered all over the floor and we ended up knocking one over so all the ash came up into our nostrils and now we're coughing. Go forward. Continuing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, shackled to some kind of torture device. The machine has rotating gears that have ground the lower half of his body into a pulp. The sight of it makes your body run cold. Something protrudes from the man's abdomen. There's something in his abs. You see that color down there. But it's lodged too deeply to make it out. The hallway continues straight. Can we search? Ooh. You reach into the corpse's abdomen. I reached into his abdomen. Oh. And up through to its chest cavity. As you do, bits of flesh and organs fall from the corpse and splatter onto the ground. Suppressing the urge to vomit, you finally grasp the object firmly and pull it out. It's a strange key made of bone. On the top, a skull has been carved. Skull key added into your inventory. So we reached into a man's abdomen to pull out the skull key. I don't, this game is so, this is so, like, stupid. Like, why would he have us play this? You reach the end of the hallway and find a large window. Iron barns cover the window, allowing no escape, so we can't escape from the game. You peer out, hoping to find some signs of life, but see nothing except for the moon. A gibbet cage is off to your left. Behind it, the path continues. Okay, go left. After turning the corner, you come to a dead end. An enormous brazier sits between two pillars. Two metal rings rise from the top with wax candles attached all around. A gust blows past, but its source is not apparent. S search. When you inspect the brazier, you see that it has a crawl space concealed behind it. So we move the brazier out the way. You drag the brazier while straining under its weight till it is out of the way. The crawl area appears to be narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit in. Let's crawl in. You go into a confined passage. Its cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. Ahead, you can see the exit. Go forward. Soon as I'm about to beat his game? Oh, it's the radio. Oh! He just climbed up my He on top of my roof! I I, I played your stupid game! I'm I'm towards the end, man! What is that? <sighs> Investigate the sound downstairs. <sighs> oh! Claws. And he's walking. Oh. Our TV is on. That was not on. Did he put... Let's turn that off. Look at my movies. Demons of the Night an alien attack ironically demons of the night is what's happening to me right now oh here it is it was the glass this maniac is toying with me he's toying with me we have to board up this window 
There's a hammer and some wood planks in the garage. We gotta go in the garage, get a hammer and some wood planks, and board up the window. Okay, hammer, hammer. Where the freak is my hammer at? There it is. Okay. Right here. There we go. I should do it. I would board up all these windows if I had enough planks. I can only hope they won't break in if I keep playing this game. Okay, so we have to return to the game upstairs. Okay. You exit the crawl space and enter a chamber. A small table is to your right. On it are tiny candles and what looks like human bones. To your left is a small flight of stairs leading up to a gated room. The entryway is wide open. The le to, to your left is a small flight of stairs. Hmm. Entryway is wide open. Maybe we go right. No, we have to go left. There we go. A flat wooden bed is located inside the gated room. Chain links and iron cuffs hang from the wall. The foul smell of raw sewage is coming from a hole in the ground to the left. Search. Nothing was found. Go. Use item. Nothing was found. Go back. Search. Ooh, you search the room and approach the table. You spot some rope amidst the clutter. It might be handy, so you decide to take it. So rope was added to my inventory. Let's go back. Gonna go forward, go left. We're gonna use the rope right here. You secure the rope to the wooden bed with the bow line knot. If you want to, you can now descend the sewer drain. However, the smell is very uninviting. So it seems as though this guy has us locked in a place in like some type of dungeon. And we're playing his game to try to escape the dungeon. But we have to do things correctly. We have to search, make sure we're using the items where they need to be used. If we can escape his dungeon in this game, he'll leave us alone in real life. The game is very hard to get because it's it's old. Look at the graphics, but we just we just have to pay attention to what they're saying to do. So let's climb down. You lower the rope until you are at the drain's base. When you jump to the ground, you splash up into a layer of vicious sewage. Okay, so we're in the sewer. You suddenly rich, start to heave, and then ultimately throw up. I mean, it's disgusting. It's a sewer. You collect your composure and glance around, noticing a path in front of you. Go forward. Sloshing through the sewer, you reach the corner. The path continues to your left. Go left. You enter a circular room. There is a stairway leading up. You spot a body floating in the sewage that is covered in black robes. It drifts up and down, its face only partially visible. It appears fixated on you with this bright yellow eye. Let's search. Oh! Approaching the corpse with caution, you push to roll it over. As you do, it springs to life with the blood curling shriek. It charges at you, slashing with claw-like fingernails. You evade the initial strikes, but then you feel the intense burn of flesh being sliced open. Wait, it's slicing us open? It scurries back before vanishing up the steps. Go up. You begin to ascend the stairs. We're walking up the stairs. Walking up the stairs, as you move, blood begins to ooze from the wound that thing gave you. So we're wounded. Oh! dead what so we have to be looking around now he's in the house
So what we need to do is close this. Return to the game. So I lost the game. I think that's why he came for me. So with this body floating, can we just use, use item? Go back. I have to go left. Okay. Search. Nothing was found. Go up. I have to keep looking around. Oh. Where's he at? My flashlight is not working. So he's coming from the cabinet? Oh. Finish the game. Straight through the wall and dress it while I was downstairs. Whatever it is, it's not human. So he's starting to make his way in. Now my flashlight works. Okay, let's finish the game. Go, uh, let's search. Go up. You reach the top of the stairway. It's dark. Use item. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. Startle. You step back as you are confronted by a wall of bones. You seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to your left behind some cobwebs. Go left. You round the corner. You round the corner into a vast room. Four pillars enclose an enormous well, which can be reached by a short flight of stairs. The water in the well has a repulsive odor. The roof has a hole through which moonlight shines. A narrow passage is off to the left. Go left. Maybe, yeah, let's go left. Skulls and bones carefully placed in a macabre pattern litter the small passage. So there's skulls and bones in a small passage. At the very end, a brazier sits. Its flame lit like a beacon. Go forward. Oh, I saw him. God, I think I'm losing my mind. We just don't want him coming up behind us anymore. A dead end is reached. A pair of skeletons clad in black robes are lit by two braziers. From the earth, the golden statue of a hand arises. Its fingers are positioned as if it were holding something, yet it is empty. Search. Nothing was found. Go back. Okay, uh, search. Nothing was found. Go back. Let's search. Okay. You reach the guardrail. As you get closer to the well, you examine the water. You notice a spherical object that is glowing with hues of yellow and red. Okay, so something's glowing yellow and red. It nearly seems to be begging you to remove it from the slimy water. You begin to experience an unnatural yearning to grab it. Grab item. Okay. You reach for the strange orb. Just as you do, the robed creature emerges from the depths. Its face twisted into a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms with the orb in hand, almost as if it was making an offering. Fixated on the orb, you are unable to stop yourself from snatching it. The creature slowly sinks back into the abyss. Strange orb was added to your inventory. Okay, let's go back. Go back. No, we need to go. Go left. Go back. We need to get back to the hallway here. Go forward. And then we need to use our item right here. Put the orb on top of the hand. 
There it is. You place the strange orb in the golden hand. When you do, it sinks slightly into the ground. A rumbling begins and intensifies. A large round stone slab begins to rise. For a brief moment, dust and debris fill the air, making it difficult to see. When it settles, you notice a new passage has been revealed. Go forward. Can we go through the passage? Traveling deeper into the catacombs, you approach two pyramid-shaped monuments. Okay. All the way up, they are ornamented with rows of skulls and bones. A lone statue further back is followed by two more morbid monuments. A search. Nothing was found. Go forward. Oh. Oh. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Seriously. He knows that I'm getting close to beating the game. That's what it is. Keeps freaking screwing with me. You arrive before a golden statue. A person wearing robes and holding an oval basin. The chamber is lit by a massive chandelier constructed of numerous bones. The path continues right. Let's search. You examine the gleaming statue. The basin has writing engraved into it. It reads, blood is the bond. The blade is the key. An offering must be made. Okay, an offering must be made. Path continues right, go right. A spiral staircase is found when you turn the corner. The steps are lit by light from above. Right and left, graves have been dug into the walls. Wow, skulls and bones cover the wall behind the stairs. Should we search? Nothing. Okay, go up. You climb the stairs and arrive at the top. Searching for your surroundings, you see a large passage to your right. To your left, a large candelabra made of bones. A balcony looking down on the golden statue is directly ahead. Okay, I like to always search. Let's go right. You approach the passage and see that it is blocked by an iron gate. A wooden counterweight level is mounted on the wall next to the gate. Use item. Okay, search. We just always have to make sure he's not coming in here. You begin rotating the counterweight lever. The gate begins to rise. You continue until the passage is open. Bruh, I'm just trying to make my way out of this game. That's that's all it is. Go forward. Stop, bruh. It's like he wants me to finish the game, but, but doesn't want me to finish the game. At the end of the passage, you find a set of double doors. Light shines through the gaps of the doors. You press against them and notice they are unlocked. Okay, go forward. You push the doors open and find yourself in familiar surroundings. A large fire pit lights the room and you can see that you are back in the room with the skull chest. However, you are now on the opposite side, inside the iron cage. So we're back in the room with the iron skull chest. We're just inside the cage now, search. Nothing was found. Use item. No items were useful. Go forward. The gate of the iron cage is now unlocked and you approach the skull chest. The doors on the right are still locked and won't budge. It would seem you have reached a dead end. Use item. You turn the strange key after inserting it inside the skull's mouth. The chest is unlocked with a mechanical click. You discover a blade inside. You can see that it is covered in weird writing and symbols as it shimmers in the light. You feel yourself falling into a trance as you inspect it. It's absolutely beautiful. Strange dagger was added to your inventory. So we have a strange dagger now. So let's go back. Go back. Um, where are we gonna use this dagger? So I'm trying to figure out where to use the item. You know what? Maybe we use it on the creature. So if we go forward, go 
Go left. Remembering the creature gave you that wound. So use item on the creature. No? Oh, there we go. We use it at the statue. You cut a gash into the palm of your left hand with the peculiar blade. Squeezing the open wound, you extend your hand over the basin. The basin starts to accumulate blood. As it does, as it does, the sound of gears turning can be heard, but it's unclear where it's coming from. Search. You search the area and try to locate the source of the sound. You notice a narrow path has appeared where a gravestone once stood. You force your way through and notice a staircase in the distance. As you get close to the steps, you notice they are carved from fine marble. You hear the gear spinning once more. The gravestone reappears, blocking the way back. Go up. Oh. Okay. Uh... Climbing the steps, you enter a dark room. Dozens of lit candles are scattered all across the floor. Their light reflects off marble floors and polished granite pillars. A chill suddenly shoots down your spine as the space is unsettingly quiet. Go forward. So we're in a room full of candles. Moving further into the room, you find yourself at its center. You can see a table and some dark shapes in the distance. You try to use the lighter you found, but the fuel is spent. Your heart begins to race and you begin experiencing an increasing sense of dread. Go forward. You walk up to the table, a few candles and a solitary book with the quill. So we're at the table, are placed on top of it. A figure in a black suit. Ah, and a top hat is seated behind the table. This is that guy. It appears to be fitted with some gloves that have knives attached to each finger. So is he like the main boss? Its head is leaning sideways on the table and its face is expressionless. Skeletons dressed in robes and various poses surround the figure. Search. You examine the book. Its cover features an odd symbol and is bound in leather. A stunning teal feather is used to make the quill. It feeds into a nim with a complex engraving. The figure in the chair remains motionless. Open book. Open book. Oh, you finally arrived. My legs are numb, I can't move. Um, I finally arrived. Continue. It continues. You have completed all the trials. The key was taken, the orb given, the blood offered, the game is nearly finished. Continue. The figure indicates the book while stating, there's only one thing left. When you put your name in the book, the game is over. You only need a quick signature to be set free. Stacy Leiden, please sign and declare the game is over. Examine. You examine the contents of the pages. On the left page is a symbol of a crescent moon along, along with the dagger. Other symbols and texts in a language you don't comprehend are also present. There's a lengthy list of names on the right page. Each name is written with unique handwritings. Let's sign the book. You take the quill and write the name Stacy Leiden. Oh. Is the game over? Continue. Continue. This, what the hell? This is my house. That looks like my house. In the game. Continue. Okay, my house roof. Mm, hope that's not my window. Sounded like it came from the attic. Oh Got gosh. Inside. Investigate the attic. He's inside. My computer is fried.
right here. Ugh. See glass? He's coming out of an art piece? Play your stupid game. What is this? End of demo. Thank you for playing. Please wish us full relief. Bro, I played this stupid game. So pretty much I suffered the whole night. I don't even know what his stupid game was about, but it seems like he was. I mean, we get it a little bit more now. He was the leader. He was the final boss in this chamber. And it seems as though my house was in the game. Which is very weird, but my house was in the game and he decided to come to my house and make me play his game. I ended up beating the game. I go to the attic to figure out what's going on up there and he snatches me. And that's where the demo ends. Full release most likely will be coming soon, so we gotta figure out why this all even happened. But I, I suffered for sure, and you guys suffered with me. Have you ever been home alone, like me, and just started noticing weird things happening around you? Maybe somebody was outside your door. Maybe somebody was inside. Let me know in a comment below. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe for more gameplays just like this, and click that post notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time your boy GWK uploads. If y'all don't smash that thumbs up button, you're gonna suffer tonight.